Hi everyone, welcome to the Weekly Report. I'm Colleen Doctorian with City Communications. Here are the top three things you should know this week. The Kansas City Emergency Rental Assistance Program is now open in the Housing and Community Development Offices at 4400 Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Volunteers at the center help clients properly fill out the assistance form, in turn expediting distribution of Federal Emergency Relief Act funding. The center is open by appointment only on Mondays and Wednesdays from 9 a.m. to noon and 1 to 4 p.m. and on Thursdays from 1 to 6 p.m. Call 816-513-4501 to schedule an appointment. Please bring identification, proof of residency, and proof of income. Mayor Quentin Lucas signed a proclamation declaring October 6th as Energy Efficiency Day in Kansas City. This nationwide event promotes how investing in energy efficiency upgrades can save you money on utility bills and increase the value of your home or business. These upgrades also have a positive impact on the environment. Reduced energy use translates to improved air quality and a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. Thanks to a voter approved sales tax and PIAC funding, the Kansas City Fire Department has six new ambulances to serve the residents of Kansas City. And by the end of this year, we'll have six more. Station 40 is also undergoing renovations and is scheduled to reopen later this fall. The 58-year-old station will have new plumbing, separate bunk rooms, and a gender-neutral bathroom. Thanks for watching the Weekly Report. I'm Colleen Doctorian with City Communications. Stay tuned for videos about all of these items, plus a video about the fall leaf and brush pickup schedule. I'm Brandon Iloilo, the city's energy manager, and I'm here with some energy efficiency day tips. Investing in energy efficiency upgrades could reduce your utility bills and even increase the value of your home. Energy efficiency upgrades also have a positive effect on the environment. Reduced energy usage translates to improved air quality and reduced greenhouse gas emissions. Let's look at a few common energy efficiency upgrades. Invest in LED lighting. Lighting accounts for around 5% of your yearly electric bill. By replacing your home's five most frequently used light fixtures or bulbs with LED, you can save as much as $45 each year. Seal air leaks around walls, windows, and doors. The potential energy savings from reducing drafts in a home can range from 5 to 30% per year. Insulate your home. Adding insulation to the attic, basement, and exterior walls will help you keep your house cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Increasing your home's insulation is one of the most cost-effective ways to reduce energy waste. Upgrade your appliances. Appliances account for about 15% of your household's energy consumption. Replacing old household appliances with ENERGY STAR qualified products can help reduce energy and sometimes water costs. Tune up your heating and cooling equipment. Your HVAC system accounts for around 43% of your annual energy bill. Make sure you have it tuned up yearly by a professional. If it's over 12 years old, consider replacing it. Don't forget to replace the air filter monthly to improve energy efficiency and indoor air quality. If you are concerned about the cost of energy upgrades, check with your local utility companies. Spire and Evergy offer rebates for certain upgrades on their websites. Utility company rebates can be combined with loans for energy efficiency improvements using the local PACE HERO program. PACE loans can be paid back over as much as 20 years. Small changes can add up to big savings. Learn more at energyefficiencyday.org.
these new ambulances that our department has been blessed with are absolutely fantastic. Um, not only do they help the residents in so many ways, they improve safety for us. And one of the main things that they teach even from the academy in day one is we have to be safe in order to serve the residences. And, and these do these for us. Uh, with so many new features, including our auto-loading cot, our auto-pulse device, our automatic vent that we have, uh, we've been able to upgrade and improve the services that we already do on a daily basis, making them easier for us and making them more efficient for the residents that we serve. The sales tax and other funding we've received recently has really helped us out in a lot of ways. Um, what you see obviously with the new ambulances have been a lifesaver for us in the way we do our job every day. Uh, we were able to get an automatic CPR device which improves our quality of CPR and the chances of survival for residents in cardiac arrest tremendously. Um, our automatic ventilators that we got have improved our, again our chance of survival um, and our ease of transport with patients on ventilators. The sales tax providing upgrades to our station is huge for this job. Now, not only does it give us better living quarters because what a lot of residents don't realize is we do live here for 24 hours at a time, but it also provides more inclusiveness for this job. So more, more individuals, more females, different people can come on this job and feel more comfortable in their everyday actions just like they would at any other spot that's a normal eight hour a day job. One of the big ones is some of the stations still have open bunk rooms. So that means we have to listen to each other snore every night. Uh, sometimes women won't feel as comfortable um, in an open bunk room and especially a lot of them have this, uh, a locker room still. So we can be able to provide more gender equal bathrooms and just all sorts of more inclusive things for the employees here. Hi KCMO, it's almost that time. Time for the city's biannual curbside leaf and brush collection. Central City residents, those of you that live north of 63rd Street to the Missouri River between State Line and Blue Ridge Cutoff, your set out dates are November 1st through November 5th. Southland residents, those who live south of 63rd Street, your set out dates are November 15th through November 19th. Northland residents, those of you that live north of the Missouri River, your set out dates are November 29th through December 3rd. Please note, separate trucks collect different items. So even if your trash and recycling are gone, please be patient, another truck is still en route for your leaf and brush. If you miss curbside leaf and brush pickup on your scheduled date, you may go to one of our three drop-off centers. The city's three leaf and brush sites are open six days a week. Drop-off is free for Casey Mill residents on Saturdays with proper ID. For details, be sure to check out our website at kcmo.gov slash leaf and brush.